Hey guys, this is just a quick follow up to the Ophelia video that I released a few days ago. The folks over at Ophelia released a new update to uh, their Docker container about 19 hours ago. As of the time of recording this, we can actually see that right there. So I guess it was about 20 hours ago. Um, if we're over here on, this is the page you might be familiar with. However, there's this tags thing where you can see uh, kind of what's going on with different versions. This new version that came out broke uh, existing installs by requiring a security encryption key that wasn't required in the previous version. And that's why if you if you looked at your your Docker container logs, you may have seen something that looks like configure or configuration storage encryption key configuration option must be provided. And then below that can't continue due to the errors loading the configuration. So uh, because that encryption key isn't in your configuration file, uh, it can't boot up because now the, the container requires that encryption key. So I wanna show you how to fix that just real quick. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and minimize this. And then uh, here I am, I'm logged into my server that's got Athelia uh, and Nginx Proxy Manager, all that kind of stuff that handles all of my traffic. Uh, I'm actually in the directory where uh, my my installation is, is set up. And if I do uh, an LS to list, uh, here we can see all of the files that are in there. And what we're gonna do is open up the configuration.yml file. Like so, and so basically what we want to do is scroll down to where our storage uh, section of the, the configuration is. Basically, here's what we're looking for. So we're just going to keep scrolling down here just a little bit. And right there, uh, we can see this local or storage local path and then the path to our SQLite 3 file. And then below that, there's an encryption key that's now required by the Docker container. Uh, so basically what I've done is I just used a password manager to generate a 20 character string uh, of just random characters for the encryption key for the storage, that sort of thing. I'll try to post a link in the description that shows uh, where I found the solution and what it's there for. Um, but basically all you need to do is, is put your encryption key line in there, put the key in, uh, save and exit the file, and then start up uh, Ophelia again via command line or portainer. Uh, doing this, uh, or this update should not affect any of your existing settings, whether it's in Ophelia uh, with all of your domains, your users, all of that stuff should still be retained because we're not uh, we're not overriding any of that because it's already there. We've got persistent stored data here. Uh, so once you go ahead and, and restart your container and take a look at the logs, uh, what you should end up seeing is something that looks like this, uh, where it says Athelia 4.3.3, or sorry, 4.331 uh, is starting up. This may be a different version if you're uh, updating this, uh, or if you're watching and doing this later, uh, that version may be different, but just know that that should be a different version than what you had. Uh, here it says log severity is set to debug, storage schema is being checked for updates. And it's it's that right there that it, it needed that encryption key for, uh, because after that we go into a storage schema migration um, from pre one to one. Uh, and then it just kind of goes through the rest of that, that setup and testing. And uh, then once it's done, you should then be able to log in to all of your uh, all of your protected services or all of the services that you're protecting via Ophelia uh, on the front facing internet. So uh, hopefully this video will help uh, anybody who's experiencing this particular issue. Uh, if it did help, let me know, give it a video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments, however you want to do that. Uh, greatly appreciated. But with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and talk to you guys next time.